Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. And today I wanted to share with you a tip on how to stamp straight. We were recently at an event and we had somebody ask us the question, how do you stamp straight? And I had to think about it for a minute because it was something that I've done for so long that I just don't really even think about anymore. So I thought it might be a great idea to just put a little video out there with some quick tips on how to make sure you're stamping straight, especially those pesky sentiment stamps that just seem to not want to go straight. <laughs> so I wanted to first talk about the two different kinds of stamps that Stampin' Up! offers. We have two different kinds. One is called photopolymer. These are stamps that are completely see-through. So you can see I can take it off. I can put it right onto a clear block and I can see through it all the way. This makes lining up stamps super easy, super simple, and way better than lining it up with rubber stamps. But we still have rubber stamps as well and they still have a place in our lives. If you have stamps that are years old and you, you've used over the years, they're more, more than likely going to be a rubber stamp. So I wanted to just give you some quick tips on how to line up those rubber stamps. I'm using the Thoughtful Wishes Cling Stamp Set. I thought this was a great one because it has both cursive writing and regular just printed writing. So let's get started. One of the first things I wanted to show you is how to position your stamp straight on your clear block. So the grid paper is great for this. You're just going to take your stamp. This one's pretty simple. I appreciate you. It's very straight and should be pretty easy to line up. So you're just going to choose some straight lines here and line it up right in the center of where you want it, just like that. And then you'll come in with your clear block and you'll make sure that your clear block is also matching up with those straight lines. And you should get a straight stamp every time. And let's try it with our cursive stamp. Again, we're going to just line that sentiment up using our grid paper and then come in making sure our clear block also is lined up in those lines. Now let me show you how to actually stamp those on some basic white paper. We're going to start by using our grid paper. If you don't have grid paper like this, this, is, this one is from Stampin' Up! You can buy it from most craft stores. But a grid paper is great because it has a measuring tool on the bottom and up the side of the paper. And it makes it really easy to get your paper completely straight. So I would suggest lining your paper completely up in the corner of your grid paper, just like that. If you don't have grid paper, you can always use a ruler and just place that down on your paper, just like that. One of the first steps that I would recommend is stamping your sentiment down on your grid paper before you stamp it on your project, just to make sure it's inking up properly make sure it's gonna get that full image that you want and to make sure it's positioned straight on your block. So just give it a little stamp right down on your grid paper and see how you feel. I feel like it's pretty straight. I didn't stamp it perfectly straight in there. You can give it a few tries, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. So your next step is you're going to come down to your paper that you've positioned down in the corner of your grid paper and then stamp it down and line that stamp up right with that bottom of your piece of paper. And pretty much every time you will get a good straight stamp. Now, if you're going to use a cursive stamp, Sometimes that's a little trickier because the letters aren't all straight and it has a little curve to it. So I like to find two different letters that are the same. So in this one, it's really nice. We have dearest friend. So the D on the front and the D on the end. You're going to try to line those two letters up on the lines on your grid paper, just like that. And that should get you a pretty straight line. 
Okay, so let's give this one a try. We have my paper down in the corner of my grid paper and I'm just going to line that paper up with the bottom of my stamp and stamp down. And you have dearest friend. We love teaching how to stamp. It's one of our favorite things to do. If you have any questions or need any other tips on some basic stamping, please let us know. You can type them in the comments below or you're always welcome to email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.